Uh, my name is J.P. Elson. I'm the CEO of SAS Music. What does it mean to have the Junos in the province, and I know it's Regina and Moose Jaw, but what does it mean to have something like that here? Um, I think it's crucial in, with respect to the development of your uh, indigenous industry in the sense that it provides a recognition and a spotlight on our uh, local talent that without this national event, they just wouldn't have that type of exposure. From a creative industry point of view, with the key word being industry, it's all about the sale of units. Now, the unit can be the traditional cassette, it could be an eight track, it could be the new uh, revised vinyl, uh, it could be a CD, or it could also be download of a single song. That's a unit. Um, and that is one of the many revenue streams that our artists have to try to make a living. Um, with the exposure that the journals will bring to us, uh, not only our local people, but industry both nationally and internationally will be exposed to some of our uh, creative products. And in that sense, and the purpose is to move more units and help our people make a living. You've been to a few Junos in your time. What's the secret to doing the Junos? The secret to doing the Junos, um, from a fan point of view, um, wherever you want to go, go early, because it will be busy and everything is subject to capacity. Um, keep an open mind. Just because you haven't heard of somebody, as we have a hundred acts in town, doesn't mean you won't like them. And that's part of the, the wonder of the Junos. Young artists coming in, obviously you, want, you see the artist, uh, but behind a successful artist there's a team, mm -hmm. not just the engineers and the guys, but who in the team should they be looking at? The answer to that depends on your level of development within the industry. Um, for many of our Saskatchewan artists that are uh, young, up and coming, um, most of those positions in the team, they will, fun they will do it themselves. As they get better, you will see them move up the ladder, so to speak, um, probably starting with a uh, manager. Is there hope for these uh, the young, young musicians here? Should they, I mean, it might be undaunting for them, but... Uh... I think there's a lot of hope. I mean, I mean from the, uh, the work that we've done in the last couple of years and with the, the potential of the upcoming creative Saskatchewan, um, still yet to be determined what, what the specifics will be, but with its potential, um, I think we have the opportunity to, we have some of the best artists in the world. I have no problem at all uh, from a talent point of view. Uh, I'll put our artists up against anybody in the world. I have no concern whatsoever about running out of supply. I've seen, in the last three weeks, I've seen some young acts, which are spectacular, and the oldest one, a kid in it, I think is 16. Uh, I have no, no concern about that at all. It's just a matter of we have to realize that it's okay to tell people how good we really are. What can we expect? What kind of trend are you going to see? I mean, of course, you've been to a few as a grizzled veteran of the Junos. Well, um, the, the, the difficulty in answering your, your question is that we have 100 acts. Well, actually, we have more than 100 acts. Uh, probably when you throw in all of the events, we're probably into the 120 different acts. Uh, of all different genres, uh, all different styles. It, it matters, it's a matter of, of what an individual likes uh, for their genre. I think that they will find, if they're adventuresome, and you have to be, and you should be adventuresome, go to different venues, get your wristband, and don't just sit in one bar stool for seven hours. Move, go see some stuff, and you will see some spectacular new stuff. Uh, not just from Saskatchewan, but to, from across the country. We do have Canada, has the most prolific song recording artists in the world, hands down. I mean, if you look statistically, we, we produced more music per capita than any other country in the world. Go see it, because it's going to be here. Well, in uh, I think it's 10, 12 days, uh, if you have nothing else to do, get out of your house, come out of your basement, go see the greatness that our country has, come downtown, go to the venues, it's going to get loud, see you in a week.